Hello, I'm Michael, and I have a friend named Detrell who loves Call of Duty. He absolutely loves Call of Duty, whether it's Call of Duty on the Xbox or Call of Duty on the PlayStation, and more recently, Call of Duty on a gaming PC. So Detrell has this really nice gaming PC, right? This really nice gaming computer. It's a great tower, uh, well-built, uh, great parts has an Intel Core i9 10th generation, right? Has plenty of RAM running on an Asus ROG Maximus Hero 2, right, motherboard. And he has a RG, NVIDIA RTX um, 3080 on there, right? And this this computer was, was custom made from top to bottom, right? It's water-cooled, great, phenomenal. The trails had some problems with this computer in terms of being able to sustain frame rates and sustain even operation of the game, right? Once the GPU, the graphics card temperature, goes above like 85 degrees, 86 degrees, the, the game just totally fr freezes and he has to uh, close the game out, right? He has to close the game out altogether. And he can never progress on this Call of Duty game because of the thermal issues, the temperatures on this graphics card, right? And so when he texted me earlier in the day about his computer issues, right, um, I had assumed that maybe his environment was set up wrong, uh, his Windows environment was had some configurations that could be done to it, and that's all still true, right, in terms of really optimizing his, his environment. But that ended up not being the issue. It wasn't until I came, came over to visit him, I came to his house, and I saw his gaming uh, setup, his gaming computer setup, and I watched him play um, uh, Call of Duty for a few minutes. And uh, while that was happening, I had Task Manager running and I had Hardware Info running, right? We downloaded Hardware uh, Info, CPU ID, and we, um, you know, I had that running. He had two monitors, fortunately. He had dual monitor set up. So he had Call of Duty running on one monitor, and I had him put Task Manager and uh, Hardware Info on a second monitor. That way, while he's playing Call of Duty, I can watch this second monitor, kind of looking at what he's doing, playing the game to see the cor any correlations. And sure enough, the temperatures on... The processor was well in range, everything was good there, but the temperatures on the graphics card ended up being the issue, right? Because when any of these components start to overheat or reach a certain temperature, they start shutting down or they start having issues, right? So I said, what are we gonna do about this, right? So I looked at the, we looked at the case. We, we took the front panel off, right? So we can get more airflow. Because because we knew um, we knew without a doubt right it was unequivocal that we have thermal issues so the this nice gaming rig has plenty of fans right and um, it has all the right pieces it's even water cooled at least on the processor but the processor isn't our issue it's the graphics card in this case so we removed the front panel we got more air flowing that way. We pressed a button on the tower that allowed the, the fans to circulate um, even more, uh, more aggressively, right? All of that was well and good, but it didn't solve anything. So I sat there and I looked at it and I was like, you know what? That graphics card, it's, it's uh, positioned the wrong way. So let's explore that. All right, folks, so I'm here at my friend Detrail's house, and um, he has this nice gaming computer, and everything is great with the, this Intel Core i9 base system. Um, we have this uh, GeForce RTX 3090, and we uh, ran hardware monitor, right? And so he was doing Battle.net, Call of Duty. I mean, he really loves Call of Duty, uh, but this, uh, this graphics card was showing very high temperatures um, at certain points in the game, right? It was rising above, 85 degrees. So one of the things that we noticed is that this um, this came with 
the way this uh, machine was built, the way this, uh, th this setup was built was the graphics card was actually sitting on, on this railing here, right? So it was up here. So I've taken all of this part and dismantled this. One of the things I identified is that having the graphics card in this position is going to cause uh, more thermal issues rather than having it uh, situated in uh, the lateral positions. All right, so we're getting this uh, graphics card um, screwed in. Oh, I lost it there. So, getting this um, big old graphics card in. It, it was a two-person uh, job starting it off, so. So, folks, I'm uh, putting the putting the bottom panel back in place. All right, so. There's a bottom panel that um, basically separates the power supply from the rest of the unit. And as you can see on these, um, on these type of computers, we uh, basically have several different parts that have to be put in place. And, you know, some people say, hey, this, this part here is extraneous. Uh, it's kind of extra, right? Why, why do you need a part like this here? But the bottom line is it helps with cooling, right? These, these systems are designed to have the air flow in a very particular direction, in a very particular way. And so you don't want to um, play around with these panels. You want to make sure your panels are, are socketed correctly. Man, we got a lot of dust going on in here. <laughs> I tell you, man, this thing. Boy, you, we we creating Christmas over here. Yeah, man, we got we got Christmas. We got a lot of dust going on over here. I hate when it does that. You know, it's got like that liquidy stuff. What is that? What's that? It seems like it gets a little liquidy at some time. Yeah, you don't. You actually don't want that liquid on. So folks, when you are um, dusting out the inside, which it's recommended you do that um, periodically, I'd say at least once a month, um, you got to make sure you have all the dust uh, particles uh, cleared out because uh, dust can be a carrier of static electricity, of static electricity. So, um, you know, you want to dust out the inside, but you also want to make sure that um, when you do dust that, it's, that you do it thoroughly and that way you'll have uh, no problems. Yeah, so yeah, that 1500, um, that 1500 series power supply is gonna do, do wonders um, for, for this build. So I think that's gonna be a, a, good, a good way to go. Yeah, that's beautiful. That looks much better too. Oh, you think the layout is a lot better? Yeah. Well, you can see, like, I couldn't see that G-Force light before. I like that. Um, you can actually see the water going now a little better. Um, yeah, it looks a lot better like that. I do like that. Now, you know what I like? I like the fact that it's actually booting up and that there are no um, problems. That's the first thing I look for. <laughs> so, yeah, there's your uh, desktop. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, log in and see what uh, we can All right. So. All right, so we're at about uh, 36 degrees uh, Celsius. And um, there's nothing. See what frames are on here? Mm-hmm. So I was like, is it worth going to 490 when I'm already getting 200 plus frames? You're already getting a lot of great, great frames on it. Um, now, you can improve your frame rate with um, a newer graphics card, right? Mm -hmm. You can definitely do that. But at the same time, what we what did we learn today? It's all about temperature, right? And a newer card is, in some cases, going to um, have... Um, you know, more temperature that it's going to use. So we are now trending up to 54 degrees uh, Celsius. Um, 
It's got some drops there. Um, See, by now, this thing would be at 80. So we've actually stabilized the temperature. Would you agree? Yeah, because it would, when I, like, as soon as I turned it on, especially with the case closed, it would already been at 80. Right. Which is climate, but it, it would have been at 80 by the time I've gotten to, gotten to here. Right, so by altering the ori the position and orientation of the graphics card, yeah. we, we allowed the graphics card to work um, according to the manufacturer's uh, design, right? Uh, the manufacturers, when they design these car these graphics cards, they're designing them uh, basically to, um, you know, be uh, in the case a certain way. And I do see your GPU is trending towards yeah. 80 and 81, but... Um, by now, it actually would have been at tor trending towards 85 degrees um, and, and up. So we got some stability there. So I'm going to, yeah, your temperature is actually holding steady. They're not redlining. Um, and what I'm seeing here is I do see 83 degrees on the GPU, um, but everything seems to be balanced. It seems to be very balanced. So I think we have solved your solved your uh, your issue. I think we solved your issue. So game on, my friend. <laughs> game on. And my frames are 200, 230 to climb and stand. So frames are staying around 200 too. Latency is good. Yeah, and that's with the case closed because like usually I'll open it up to just to help it help the airflow. The fan the fan's not running right now, and I say I'll have to run that fan to help it. So. I can, this is a lot better.